Now we're looking at all these functions. Um, let's think about what's common to all these functions. We have x's, we definitely see x's. And x's with exponents. Exponents is like the power of each x. And notice that the exponents are whole numbers. Okay, which means no negative integers. Okay, so they're all whole numbers. Uh, for example, 25, you can think of it as 25 times x to the 0, technically, right? So x to the 0 is equal to 1, and that's equal to 25. So even 0 is a whole number, right? And there are no negatives. For example, you don't see x to the negative fifth or x to the negative fourth or anything like that. Or you don't see an x to the two-thirds. It's just positive whole numbers, right? So this is, in general, uh, described as a polynomial, okay? So a polynomial looks like any one of these, okay? It could be longer, shorter. But the most important thing about polynomials is you'll see x's and the exponent of the x's is a 0 or a 1 or a 2 or 3 or 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but nothing negative, okay? So in this case, if I say what's the domain of this function? So when I say domain, the question is what x can I plug into this function so I don't get uh, a number that's undefined. So here, clearly, I can plug in any real number that I want. I can plug in a negative number, a positive number, a fraction, a decimal. Nothing will go wrong because just think about it. I can take any number and raise it to the power of 25, right? And nothing is wrong with that. You're not going to get any sort of error or undefined or anything like that. I can raise any number to the power of 20. I can raise any number to the power of 19 and subtract a 15 from it. So every number is part, every real number is part of the domain of this function. I can plug in any real number in for x for a polynomial function in general. And, and if you look at each of these functions, you'll notice that it's the same thing. They're all polynomials. You can plug in any uh, real number that you want into it. So what does that mean? The domain is all real numbers. And, or you could write it in the interval form as negative infinity to positive infinity. So any number on the real number line will work for this function. Okay, so this is, uh, in general, about polynomials. Uh, the domain of a polynomial function is all real numbers. And notice this is a quadratic function. You could even have a linear function. Anything. Let me put some fractions. So remember, these can be fractions as well or decimals, any real numbers. I can put a radical sign here if I want. The only rule is that the exponent on the x has to be a whole number. 